Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to a brand new episode of Minecraft Survival from Python's World. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you very much again for the insane support you guys have been showing the series and indeed the channel. I really do appreciate it guys. Now in today's episode... We're going to be starting a new sort of mini project. It's not all going to be done in today's episode. Although, I don't actually know. It depends how far we get. But I am dubbing this the Automatic Animal Barn. And it is exactly what you think it's going to be. In today's episode, we are, at the very least, going to be setting up an automatic chicken cooker. Which is indeed from my buddy Izumavoid's design. So if you guys want to check out that tutorial, please do look in the description or on screen. You can find the tutorial. But we've got all of the redstone elements here that we need for that thing and yes i will be following his tutorial i've taken some screenshots so hopefully i should be able to replicate this for you guys without too much of an issue so yeah but whatever the case may be my friends the plan is not only to have an automatic chicken cooker inside of this new barn that i'm going to be making but in addition to that i'd also like to have some little nano farms for those of you guys who don't know what nano farms are i believe it is my buddy impulse sv who uh, sort of cornered the market on uh, you know really really compact nano farm designs uh, whether that be uh, nano crop farms or nano animal farms they both exist and i'm pretty sure they're both from impulse sv as well so yeah it's going to be pretty awesome to actually do this thing so in terms of the dimensions that we need ladies and gentlemen uh the space the space for the chicken cooker is three by six so one two three and there we go we can have ourselves a wall and then we need to count six blocks so one two three four five six and then of course we've got ourselves that space there and we've got a little bit of that now here's the thing this barn is not going to be symmetrical by any stretch of the imagination the doorway is going to be like here and then we walk in and then we like do 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 oh hey chicken cooker we can get ourselves some free chicken do 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 keep going oh look there's a freaking nano farm there which we can go ahead and use to get crops and or more animals you know it's it's going to be awesome it's going to be an awesome time my friends and i hope you guys enjoy this uh, project you know and what is to come so let's start from the finish shall we what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to start from the end which is going to be uh, a case of putting down the chest this chest is going to be where the feathers and the cooked chicken is going to wind up so that's going to be pretty awesome uh we could probably grab out some glass as well so we can actually look at the chickens as they're being burnt um that's not morbid by any stretch of the imagination <laughs> Oh no. Alright, boom and a boom and then we need a little bit more. So something like this and then something like this. Okay, that's looking good. And then what we need, guys, is we need a hopper going into the chest rather like that. Okay, so the chickens are going to stand on a slab on top of the hopper. Uh, now, of course, we need to actually go grab the slab. Although, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make myself a little crafting station area thing. Like, maybe we just chuck it down here or something. I mean, we can move it later down the line. You know, there's no real... There's no quarrel or no qualms or anything like that. Anyways, let's keep going. So we've got ourselves a slab here. This is where the baby chickens are going to stand, okay? And the way this works is we're going to have ourselves two dispensers. As you can see, I've got two dispensers here. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. The difficulty might be... Oh, yeah, that's facing the wrong way. Dang it. Okay, what if... Oh, that's now in the chest. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to have ourselves a dispenser right there. This is going to host all of the eggs, the eggs of which are going to be thrown. They're going to land on the slabs, or any baby chickens will land on the slabs. And then when they grow up, what's going to happen is they're going to wind up automatically being burnt by the lava bucket, which is going to be within here. So we can go ahead and get the lava bucket, chuck it in there. But we're not going to do that until the end because I don't want to mess this up. I don't want to, like, set fire to everything because that would be rather embarrassing. But uh, yeah, so let's continue on shall we so we've got ourselves another hopper here And the idea is we need to put the hopper right there So it goes into this chest so we can actually feed the eggs into the system right and then what we're gonna do To bypass the maximum entity cramming rule is we're actually going to go ahead and place a ladder here For some reason ladders mean that you could bypass the max entity cramming rule, right? Don't ask me why it just sort of happens. So yeah Anyways, so we need ourselves a block right there, like that. And then we need to place down another dispenser rather like that. Okay. And then we're going to need ourselves some more blocks around here. I mean, I would use glass, but I don't actually have any more. Do we have some sand that I can smelt up? 
Wow, I've got three bits of sand. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm pretty sure we've got a bunch of sand in this little here pond. Uh, yep, there's a little bit. Hey, look at that. Actually, as a matter of fact, while we're doing that, while that is all smelting up, we can go ahead and take on a suggestion that a few of you guys were saying in the comments area in the last episode, in that we should try and implement some mossy cobble into this. And now that we have vines, there's no reason why we can't. But here's the idea. I do not want to spam mossy cobble. We have only eight bits on us. And honestly, I feel like that'll do the job. I don't want it to be everywhere. I want it to be like a very, very subtle accent here and there. I don't want it to sort of overpower the cave. Like, something like that. I mean, we could probably put some vines over it to sort of hide it a little bit. I think that'd be a cool idea. Uh, how about we place one uh, back there? We could probably get away with one up there there. Okay, looking good. We've got four more bits. Maybe we just randomly chuck one on the roof here. Yep, there we go. And then let's head down here. Maybe we can chuck down a couple more. Uh, let's get one in there. Uh, maybe one down here somewhere. Uh, that's coarse isn't it? Okay, I don't want to replace that. Uh, so one there. And then we could probably squeeze in one more. Hmm, not entirely sure where though. I mean, again, I could just put it in the roof rather like this. Yeah, there we go. You see, though, you see how it's improved the cave. Like, again, it's added a little bit of green, a little bit of grey, and a little bit of realism to the build as well. Because, you know, caves, they do tend to have a bit of stone. And, you know, where there is stone and where there is greenery, it's going to go all sort of mossified, isn't it? So... Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. So, guys, thank you very much for your suggestions. I do appreciate it. That's that's why I appreciate your guys' suggestions, because you guys seem to know your stuff. You guys seem to know your stuff. Anyways, there we go. We've got 10 bits of glass. We're also going to go to sleep, so we're not being hassled by mobs in the dark. <laughs> Because that would really suck, actually. Anyway, so, yep, there we go. We've had a sleep. We've got some glass. And now what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to pillow our way up. And then we're going to do some very, very simple stuff. So we're going to put down a glass block right there. We're going to try to place down a glass block right there. And finally, another glass block right there. And the idea is, of course, like I said, the chickens are going to go on there. Now, this observer is going to be placed facing the side. Uh, no, the other side, ideally. So, something like that. And then the little face is right here. And uh, here, we are going to place down a daylight sensor. And we're going to invert it so it activates upon night time. Okay? So, next, we're going to place down a little bit of cobblestone. Uh, rather like that. We're going to get rid of this little thing right here. Okay, and then according to the design, we need to place down a piece of redstone on that piece of cobble there. Uh, if we just hop up real quick, we can actually see this thing being placed in. Yep, something like that. And then what we need to do, I do believe, is we need to place down a block here. And then a slab of some description there. Okay, okay. And then we need to place down a redstone repeater, rather like that. And then the other daylight center is going to be going down here and is going to be a normal one. Now, I do believe that there is, there is also a redstone torch that goes in something like that. Oh, yeah, there we go. So the idea is apparently this is like a torch burnout clock, but all of the other redstone trickery sort of auto activates upon certain points of the day, right? And it sort of bypasses the redstone burnout torch type thing. So basically what will happen is this thing is going to activate multiple times per day. And as a result of that, we should have ourselves a bunch of eggs being dispensed and a bunch of awesome stuff happening. So yeah, oh yeah, yeah. there you go. There you go. We've just seen it, you know, in action. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's brilliant. I love it when things work, man, especially redstone stuffs. And uh, yeah, I just want to clarify something, if I may. Yes, I have been following a tutorial for this one, uh, you know, again, from Zuma Void. So, buddy, if you're watching this, then thank you very much for your design. It's amazing. It's very, very compact, and it will definitely allow me to do some awesome stuff with this build. I'm very much looking forward to getting this thing rolling. But uh, yeah, all we need to do now is chuck the lava bucket in there. And basically, you know, like I said, upon various points of the day, the lava is going to be dispensed, and then any baby chickens in here wait hang on a minute okay so that didn't activate that's interesting have i done something wrong ah i missed out a piece of redstone guys so this block here which is where the repeater was going into it required a bit of redstone on top of it and then i did not need a bit of redstone on top of this so if i just invert this again yeah there we go 
It's all good, my friends. It's all good. The only thing I'm a... L I don't know. I don't know whether this could actually be a thing, but I'm kind of worried about maybe the lava burning down the entire wooden building because that's what the building's going to be made out of for the most part is wood. But since the lava is only there for like a microsecond, like I don't think, I don't think it will be there long enough to do any kind of damage. At least that's my, uh, that's my hope anyway, because <laughs> uh, if we mess this up, then uh, we could be in a spot of bother really. Anyway, so let's go ahead. And uh, grab out a bunch of eggs, of which, you know, we've got a lot now because we've got, you know, quite a lot of chickens in here. Which, by the way, was the plan all along, is to just grab ourselves an absolute ton of eggs. So we can actually put them in the farm. So we've got ourselves a ton of chickens, producing a bunch of other chickens, which will produce a bunch of cooked chickens. And, um, yeah, that's that's the intention. Anyways, uh, in you go. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay. So, did that, like... Did that make a bunch of chickens? No, it didn't. Interesting. Boop. Come on. Let's have some chickens, buddy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. We got a chicken in there. That's awesome. So if I just keep doing that, we should be able to get ourselves a ton of chicken. Like, just spawn in. There you go. There's another one. And there we go, guys. We've got ourselves a ton of chickens in here. And basically, yeah, we just got to wait for them all to grow up. And then this thing will be in action. So... That's kind of awesome. <laughs> we did it, guys. We freaking did it. We've got an automatic chicken cooker. Now, all we need to do is we need to dress this thing up because as it stands currently, it's a bit of an eyesore, isn't it? We definitely don't need to go ahead and uh, dress this up, make it look a lot nicer. Okay, give me a sec, guys. I'm going to go ahead and try and get a bunch of framework down. And by doing that, we should be able to have ourselves a nice little, uh, you know, a nice little uh, outline of how this thing is going to look. So, yeah, give me a sec, guys, and I'm going to see what I can come up with. All right, folks, so here we go. We've got a rough sort of uh, outline for how this place is going to look. We have spaces here for three nano farms, one for sheep, one for pigs, and then one for cows, which are also going to, you know, use the max entity cramming rule, except this time we want the max entity cramming rule. Uh, we'll get to that in, uh, in just a bit or in the next episode, whichever it may be, but uh, whatever the case may be, guys, we are now in the process of trying to place in the ceiling and also so just, you know, just in general, just trying to make this place look nice. So, yeah, we've got the entrance here. We've got ourselves like a little utility station. Uh, the chickens haven't quite grown up yet, but I imagine they are very, very close. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, we've got ourselves a nice amount of space going on in here, my friends. A very, very nice amount of space indeed, in fact. I'm very much looking forward to seeing how this looks once it is actually done. But in the meantime, we're just going to continue on with this, my friends. Just going to continue on trying to get the ceiling on. I must admit, ceilings are probably my least favorite thing to do in any Minecraft, but oh hell, oh, oh, there are now chickens on the si- oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, um, yeah, a lot of the grown-up chickens have wound up outside of the pen, oh man, are you kidding, look at them, there's like two thirds of them have escaped. How has that happened? They must have glitched through. That's the only thing I could deduct. Oh man. And there's no real way of trying to get them back in there either. Oh man. All right, guys, so I've decided in favor of having a second floor. I think it'd be a nice idea. We can utilize the space, like I say, for storage. I think that'd be a cool, nice, uh, a, a nice use of space instead of just having it be like a big old high roof. I know, like, high roofs are pretty nice every now and again, but, you know, in, in my case, I like to... I like to, well, more often than not, I like to prioritize function, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I prioritize aesthetics. Sometimes I prioritize function. I don't really have a system for how I decide what I do, if I'm being honest. But, you know, it's just one of those things. Right, so there we go. We're just putting in the floor. Looking good. All right, and I'm thinking maybe what we could do here is, like, place down some logs rather like this. So it sort of breaks up the texture a little bit. Uh, I can't do anything there at the moment. Uh, well, I can't jump through, shall I say? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, uh, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Maybe I do something like this. 
I don't know. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to figure out ideas on how to make this look good. All right, guys. So check it out. It is starting to look really quite cool now, isn't it, my friends? Now, of course, we've got some exterior design to do. I want to put some leaf blocks and some various flower pots in there, rather like before. Uh, but in the meantime, yeah, look at it. The ceiling is pretty much there. I'm not entirely sure about this top section. I feel like it's it looks just weird or wrong. I know there's not really a right or wrong way of doing things in Minecraft, but I still I don't know, it doesn't it doesn't stop me feeling like something is just wrong with it. I don't know. But yeah, we've got ourselves the room up here, which is going to be full. It's going to be stock full of uh, chests in here at uh, at some point. So that'd be kind of awesome. Uh, but uh, yeah, just in general, things are starting to look pretty cool. So we've got a little staircase back here. We've still got the space here for the nano farms. We can head up here and bada bing, bada boom, here we go. Everything is looking good. Uh, oh, wait, I can heighten this room a little bit. Ooh. Hey, that's pretty cool. Heightening the room a little bit is probably going to make it feel a little more airy, which is really, really nice because I think that's what this build, especially at the top section, has been lacking. So, actually, that's pretty all right. I'm kind of... Oh, no, hang on. Ah, ah, now I can't even get up. Great. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. The temptation now is to go ahead and use some stairs rather... Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 that's the way to do it. That's the way. Right, now then, uh, we could probably squeeze in a crafting table up here somewhere. In fact, I might be able to do a little symmetrical thing here. Yeah, something like that, okay? And then maybe we just grab a whole bunch of chests. We can have some single ones, and yes, we can indeed open these, which is amazing. So, yeah, we can have a little bit there, a little bit there. Uh, four more chests. Uh, we can make three. But, you know, four would be nice to get a little bit later. There we go. All right, that's looking pretty cool, isn't it? And then maybe what we could do here is maybe we could have just like a, a full block of wood. Or, you know, we can maybe cheat and do that. And then we can have some paintings on it, right? Make it look nice that way, you know. Add a little bit of decoration into it. Because, you know, just having cobble and wood everywhere, it's not the most interesting thing to look at. I think having some paintings would make it look a lot better. But anyways, guys, I'll tell you what. We're going to jump into the comment question of the video. Because why not? Which is coming from Captain Crusher. I can really tell that you are enjoying making these vids. I know I can't see your face, but I know that you have a massive smile on your face. Also, keep up the excellent work. Absolutely, dude. I appreciate the kind words. Yeah, absolutely. The amount of insane support you guys have been sharing for the series has really contributed to me doing these daily episodes like a bit of a fun fact for you guys when i started this series i i did not intend on it being a daily series but you know hey ho the enjoyment that i have been having with this game and you know the the that combined with your guys's support has meant that i've just I don't know, I've just been feeling really, really good about it. And as a result, we've had daily episodes. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure if that's awesome, though. Like, I don't know, I feel like there's something inherently wrong with this section. I can't quite put my finger on it. I really can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe instead of having windows like that, we could have, like, skylights or something? I don't know. I don't know. But I just... You know, you know when you make a Minecraft build and you're just like, mate, this something about this doesn't seem right, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Yeah, I'm having that feeling right now. Like, I'm like, mm, I wish I could tell what was wrong with this because then I'd be able to actually, you know, action it and, uh, you know, be able to do some stuff with it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hello there, sir. What are you doing out here in the broad daylight? I have no idea. Anyways, let's go ahead and fill in the leaves sir, so we can have ourselves a completed exterior. And then, of course, we'll have a quick look at the interior just so I can show you guys what I've been doing. And, uh, yeah. All right, there we go. A little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Yeah. Okay, so the exterior is looking pretty nice at this point. Now, I'm actually pretty darn happy with it. I hope you guys are as well. Uh, obviously, you know, going back to the old meme of when in doubt, put a flower pot down. <laughs> It works, though. Would you guys not agree that it works, though? I think it works pretty nicely. So, anyways, let's go into here. I'm just in the process of uh, covering up the ceiling a little bit because I feel like this would look a little bit better, in all honesty. So, why don't I just quickly 
do a little bit of that, and then, oh, we're going to need a little bit more as well. But so yeah, guys, check it out. I've been busy on the interior here. I've actually moved the staircase to the center here. This is actually the center of the building, if you were looking at it uh, depth-ways, I think. But so yeah, we go upstairs, and do-do-do-do-do. Everything's looking good. We've got some paintings. Got a nice amount of light up here now. And, you know, I'd added a little bit of depth to the roof as well by making these little wooden beam-type things. I think they look pretty cool. And then, of course, you know, we've got the storage as well. Looking very, very nice. Nice. And then we've got this area over here. This is like a little workstation area. We've got like a furnace. We've got like a, a wooden plate. Uh, it's, it's a pressure plate, but let's just imagine it's a plate. We've got some flower pots. We've got ourselves a little chest here. And then, of course, this is going to be the site of which we place down our new nano farms. And at this point, it will be done in the next episode before, because, unfortunately, I'm actually starting to run out of time to record this one here, my friends. So, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Yes, there has been a lot of jump cuts in this episode, but uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed all of the progress that has gone on in this episode. This is by far my largest build that I've done in a single episode, and also my longest recording for a single episode. So guys, uh, you know, if you enjoy this episode, honestly, a like rating would be super, super appreciated. It would mean the absolute world to me, it would. So, yeah. Okay, uh, so let's get rid of that one there. And yeah, this is looking cool! Oh, mate, to think of the start of the episode, this was just a large area, and now... It's a large area with a large barn in it. And it's looking pretty awesome. So let's check this out. Hey, we got some customers. We've got some customers. Look, we've got some little wee baby chickens in there. And some roast chicken. Yeah. So it's starting to fill itself up, as I said it would. And uh, yeah, it's just, a, it's just a case of playing the waiting game more than anything. So... Yeah, but ladies and gentlemen, I think on that note, we're going to go ahead and end this particular episode here. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please do be sure to drop a like rating as it will really help out myself, the channel, and the video very much. I'd super appreciate it. And of course, hit the subscribe button and ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on future Minecraft episodes, my friends. But there we go. We have a large barn. It's looking awesome. We have a proper place for animals. <laughs> I'm super excited, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.